course, we still have the flags up for the Buccaneers as they get ready to get some bling after winning the big game. Here's a little did you know. Do you remember Refrigerator Perry? Well, that was the largest sized sports ring in history at a size 25. Want some more fun facts when it comes to sports championship rings? Well, you know our friend Jeffrey Hess at Old Northeast Jewelers has us covered. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Hess with Old Northeast Jewelers in St. Petersburg and in Hyde Park Village. And today we're going to talk about sports championship rings. This is really a cool subject. We make a big market in these things. Um, we have, in fact, owned hundreds and perhaps thousands of sports rings in the 30 years that we've been in St. Petersburg, Tampa area. I was lucky enough to buy Refrigerator Perry's ring about uh, 22, 23 years ago. Um, bought it right off of his finger. And also we were able to buy over 20 New York Yankees rings from an executive of the Yankees organization. So we've been around the block a little bit, and I'd like to show you, if I can, uh, one of the articles that we wrote um, a while back about buying championship rings. And as you can see, there's a world champion New York Yankees ring there. There's a, what, there's a Sox ring, a Green Bay ring. These are all rings that we actually owned. But today, we're gonna talk about the two that we happen to have bought this week. We'll start with a small one. This is an Arizona Wildcats ring. Now these have about $400 in gold alone, but of course any championship ring, even a minor league championship ring or a small college or whatever is always worth more than the gold. 99 times out of 100. This was the Arizona Wildcats champions. And these came in several forms. They came in several sizes, obviously. The sweet spot for championship rings is in the 11 to 12 size range. 10 is fine. You get down into nines and eights, and occasionally we've had Yankees rings in size seven, you can hardly sell them. But this one is a size 11, so it's a good size. Another thing is you could pick diamonds or not diamonds. This fellow picked diamonds, so it's got a big old half carat diamond in the center. So we paid considerably over the gold for that. We paid about $1,200 for it, and we'll probably sell it for 15 or 1600. Um, there's no retail on this, it's just a wholesale market, so our markups are very, very small. This one, however, was a bit of a, if I can use the term crapshoot, I hope, um, a bit of a guessing game. I had to really just make up my mind as to the value because you determine valuation by checking hundreds of online auction records, Sotheby's, Christie's, a lot of auctioneers uh, sell these kinds of things. And this one, there are no auction records. Why? Because it's a very, very popular ring and they very rarely change hands. This is from the Montreal Alouettes. And it's their back-to-back -back championship ring. And as you can see, it has two cups. This is for the gray cup. And there you see the player. He was the most valuable player. And it is a size 14. So you got to be a big boy to be able to wear this thing. Now, because he was the most valuable player, and because these are diamonds and not CZs, and because there are no auction records, we really had no idea what to offer. So a jeweler called us up from Pittsburgh area. Um, the... Um, the ring had shown up in his store and we are awaiting his certificate of authenticity from the player but if all is well we're going to pay him ten thousand dollars for this ring i don't know if that's too much and i don't know if it's too little but you know what it's a really cool ring and it weighs a ton way too big for me as a matter of fact if you have a championship ring old or new the older the better typically the bigger the team, the better, typically. 1940s, 1950s Yankees rings can bring $100,000 or more. It's a lot of money and it's a lot of fun. If you have a championship ring of any kind, come and see us. We also buy championship watches. They made championship watches before they made championship rings. We buy all kinds of really cool sports memorabilia. We don't buy baseball cards unless they're pre-1920. Thank you for watching.